Well, hello, it's Garden Gangster Florida. And in our yard today, we are going to be planting some pintas. Some I'll show you in just a minute, but it's some pinks and some whites and some reds, just putting them together, make a nice collage in some three gallon pots. Here's what I put in the uh, mix for uh, you know our compost that we use on most all flowers here. Just some potty mix and some black cow. Works very well for most everything we do. Just want to show you the you know the dirt we're using, the, this compost here and the potting mix. I just put it along along with some blood meal 1400 and put a little bit of bone meal in it. That's for roots mainly, but the blood meal is for the uh, flowering, for the you know the nitrogen needed. And we just put, I just use a you know a 55 gallon trash can, and you know I've already got some bone meal in there. That's the white looking stuff, and the black cow and the potting mix is in there, and I just kind of mix it around in this uh, you know 55 gallon drum. And then we're going to put it in some, you know, some pots, you know, three gallon pots. So. So now when we got our dirt, uh, my lovely assistant is going to show you the consistency. You know, it's just, once you get it mixed up nice and well, that's all you really have to do. Just get it where it's mixed up good. And then just start filling your pot. And of course you want to kind of get it to your desired. We're putting these little shorties in, so, uh, you know, get it in there good. Now you definitely want, they got this nice lip right here to tell you where to put the top of your plant. So that's a good place to measurement right there. Kind of, you can kind of see what the height is. You can kind of tell right there is about where you want your uh, plant to be. Now, sometimes I'll just put them in there, pre-place them, you know, just to get an idea where you might want them because uh, it's kind of bad to put some of them in there and then you don't have it right so you just get a good look at it you'll notice that how much roots we have in that little pot it's amazing so you want to get them out of these pots as quick as you can because you know it's kind of getting root bound there we have our plants at the desired height if you want you know, depending on what pot you got it can vary a little bit but one of the hardest things that i found and I, what I do is I, I put dirt in something like this because obviously it's hard to get out of a 55 gallon drum. So you just put it in this so you can just kind of, and you just add, try not to, of course, hurt your flowers. This is sometimes a slow process, but you do need to pack it in. This is the very important step here because roots, you can, if you didn't know, roots do not like to be in air. Roots will just, you know, they'll have a problem if you if they hit any air. So it really needs to be meaning you need to have dirt in, in between these pentas as well. So you got dirt in here. And when you get some dirt in there, remember you got this space in the middle. You really, really got to put it down in the middle here. Because they have to have dirt on both sides, obviously. Once you got them in there, put your dirt in there. Remember always to put dirt in between the plants you know, and really pack it in there good. And once you got them in there, just put them wherever you want. Make sure pentas, remember pentas always like full sun. They like as hot as you can get it and full sun. With it being in a container though, you will have to water it more than being in the ground. In the ground, you don't have to water them that much, but in a container, obviously, you get the heat from the side, and maybe if it's sitting on concrete or something hot near it, it may evaporate quicker. I'm just gonna remind y'all about your potting mix. Remember, you can always use, from the big box store, potting mix and the black cow, what I showed you earlier in the, earlier in the video. However, if you did some planting last year and have soil from last year, um, just use your soil from last year, put some blood meal in it, put some bone meal in it, and that's what you need for, you know, flowers and whatnot. Everything in your garden, really. Yeah, and once you have compost from uh, last year and whatnot, all you have to do is just add it to your, you know, 
bigger compost and put your blood meal and your bone meal in it and mix it together and you get fresh soil for this year so you can, you can reuse it just add some amendments back to it some soil enhancements back to it nutrients and once you have it uh, all mixed up you'll have your nutrients back in your soil and you'll be good to go and I thought I might show you as well how I put pots and chairs because a lot of pots don't fit some of the you know the big openings and chairs what I do is I put some zip tie some wooden I guess corners to these things and that can narrow the hole if you notice on this one here so you can put whatever pot you want in there you can adjust it you know you can take tie straps out and put a, a bigger pot and widen it or narrow it depending on your pot size so very flexible these chairs are what I do is I find some chairs you can find chairs on the side of the road all you have to do is just take out the seat of the chair and find you a pot that you know fits nicely in them and then you just create a nice you can paint your chairs whatever you want and uh, you have a nice arrangement or a nice place to put your pot for the season be creative when you're riding around and you see an old beat up chair you're like man I can sand that a little bit paint it and turn it into something really neat I wanted to give you one secret I really didn't show you and a lot of uh, planters or growers do this but it's not really a secret sometimes it's just something you don't know that really gives your plants a boost now when you're working with this stuff you need a clothespin because it stinks terrible but anyway uh, I use this stuff right here this fish fertilizer outdoor plants indoor plants won't burn them what I do is and you see everything is just looking so wonderful we got stuff blooming everywhere fresh penta I put in the ground today we have some kakumas coming up right there I can't wait for that to happen planting a uh, hibiscus right now and I've really flooded it with that stuff because, and I put you know what I put uh, about three gallons of water uh, just use what the bottle says and just mix it up and pour that in when you plant something because that's like putting a lot of nitrogen to the plant right away and of course when you transplant something you definitely want to have a lot of nitrogen there to get the plants going butterfly bush and welcome spring look at these asters man isn't that pretty wow there's still a lot going on in the garden we did get some pentas. Uh, I showed, I showed you, of course, that in the beginning of the video. But there's some other ones I put together here. Uh, just some in these pots. Just some extras. Just want to say you can use your old dirt. Just put some bone meal and some blood meal in them. You can reconstitute the, you know, the soil so it will grow something healthy. And you don't have to buy a new soil every year. You can buy a couple bags maybe if you lose some. But just uh, replenish your soil with some nutrients and keep right on going. After that first, you know, first season of growing stuff, that can be a little bit expensive buying, you know, 10 bags of this, 4 bags of that. But every year after that, you just keep using your soil that you have. Well, anyway, Garden Gangster Florida, it's been a good day. We stayed out of the rain mostly today, which is wonderful, and got something done finally. So, see you on the next video.